A hull cell is a testing tool, or a miniature electroplating cell, in which an electroplating solution is evaluated across a range of operating conditions. An evaluation of the deposit on the cathode across a range of current densities is useful in demonstrating the capabilities of a plating bath solution. This video will show you how to run a hull cell. The next video in the series will show you how to interpret the results. The hull cell is designed to analyze the deposit appearance and deposit characteristics of a specific electroplating solution. Hull cells may come in a variety of sizes, but the 267 milliliter is the most common. A hull cell anode. This needs to correspond to the plating bath to be evaluated. There is a specific anode required for each plating process. Today we're evaluating an acid zinc solution, so we'll be using a zinc anode. Obviously, we need a plating solution. As previously mentioned, we're using an acid zinc electroplating solution. A laboratory grade DC power source rectifier with variable control is necessary. A rectifier that has DC voltage output of 0 to 10 volts and amperage output of 0 to 10 amps is preferred. Appropriate clamps and leads are also necessary. Here we have color coded cables to connect the rectifier to the hull cell. Alligator clips are easy connections from the rectifier to the anode and the cathode. In our evaluation, we'll be using a zinc-coated steel panel. In the case of the zinc-coated panel, the zinc is there to protect the panel from rusting and excess scratching. To remove the protective coating, use a 50% solution of hydrochloric acid to strip the zinc coating prior to plating. Now, safety first. It's important to wear the proper personal protective equipment. This should include gloves, goggles, and a lab coat and also have a pair of lab tongs handy. If you have any questions, be sure to check with your company safety officer. Some processes require agitation, others do not. When solution movement or agitation is required, either air or mechanical agitation is used. Here we're using an aquarium air pump to supply air agitation. You'll also need a timer. Here we have a lab grade timer, but even a simple stopwatch or kitchen timer will suffice. Dilute nitric acid at a concentration of 0.25% to 0.50% by volume. And finally, you'll need a hull cell ruler to interpret the results. Now that we have all of the necessary equipment, we're ready to get started. Again, we will be running an acid zinc hull cell. It will be processed at two amps for five minutes at ambient temperature with air agitation. Number one, put on your safety equipment. Place the anode in the hull cell. To reiterate, this is an acid zinc process, so we will use a zinc anode. Prepare the solution and note and document the following temperature, which is ambient, plating time, 5 minutes, amperage, 2 amps, and finally, agitation, air. Add the plating solution to the hull cell. Fill to the line to 267 milliliters. This is critical to achieve accurate interpretation of the results. Begin agitation of the solution. Once again, we are using an aquarium pump. Now prepare the cathode, or hull cell panel. For the zinc hull cell, we are using a zinc coated panel. Wear rubber gloves and use lab tongs for safe handling and to prevent contaminating the panel. Immerse the zinc plated steel panel in a solution of 50% by volume hydrochloric acid to strip off the zinc plating. Place the panel under cool running water and wipe the surface with wet cotton cloth or wet paper towel to ensure cleanliness. This will remove small particles from the surface that can interfere with the evaluation of the deposit on the cathode. Rinse again with cold water to ensure a clean surface until you see a water break-free surface. Place the panel in the hull cell and connect the electrical connections, the clamps and leads, corresponding to the correct polarity. Positive to the anode, negative to the cathode or panel. Set the timer to the correct time. In this case, we have chosen five minutes. Turn on the rectifier or power source. Adjust the amperage to the desired level. Here we've chosen two amps. Start the timer. Again, here we've chosen five minutes. Once the timer ends, turn off the power. Disconnect the cathode panel and remove it with tongs. Once the panel is removed, rinse it in cool water. With a zinc plated panel, it's good practice to take the panel through a bright dip process before analyzing it. With tongs, dip the panel into a 0.25% to 0.50% by volume solution of nitric acid for three to five seconds. Rinse with warm water, dry with forced air or an absorbent towel. 
Now the panel is ready for analysis. This is how you run a whole cell. In the next video, we'll show you how to interpret the results.